Yo, what's up everybody? Good morning from the windy capital of New Zealand, Wellington. Wellington. We got here pretty late last night after we had an amazing time over at the Pinnacles and Cape Palliser. But this morning we're heading over to Zealandia, which is an eco sanctuary right in the heart of Wellington. So we can't wait to see that. Let's go check it out. thing is our Airbnb is actually only three minutes away from the top of the cable car where we'll catch a shuttle to get over to Zealandia, a free shuttle too which is super good. Yeah I remember that Wellington is really easy to get around which is what I like about the yeah. city. It's also very hilly too though so expect lots of hills. <laughs> Luckily just got here in time for the shuttle. Check this fence out guys, it runs all the way around Zealandia and apparently it's the world's first fully fenced eco sanctuary and it's 225 hectares of bush and yeah that's quite amazing, I think we're going to have a lot of walking around today. Yeah hopefully we see um, a takahe right? Yeah takahe and the shuttle driver was saying how there's like 200 tuatara just roaming free, that's pretty incredible. Yeah looking forward to this. Yeah. Got general admission tickets, the cost was $22 for each of us and uh, apparently you can also do some guided tours as well and that's going to cost you a little bit extra. We just came out of a movie that showed all the bad things that humans have done to nature and wildlife and that um, this conservation effort is trying to protect all that now. Looks like we've come just in time for feeding. I have never seen so many kaka before in the wild. They're parrots from New Zealand and they've got a beautiful colour to them. They've got like red underwings and then they're brown on the outside. They're such beautiful birds. Wellington is one of the few cities in the world where native bird biodiversity is actually increasing rather than decreasing and that's thanks to the conservation work that organizations like Zealandia do which is incredible to see that kind of transformation. Yeah I want to see one of these in every city. <laughs> You won't believe what we just saw. We just saw a tuatara just basking out there and I never thought we'd see one out in the wild before. It's quite amazing. This one's got like little colors on its back though. I wonder Maybe if it's, it's just... Maybe it's the market. Yeah, for like identification or something. So cool. That's insane. What do you reckon? Man, this place is so super peaceful and I feel like whoever comes here is going to get a totally different experience from each other because there's so many different tracks and different like unique things to see along the way. I really like that there are 40 plus different species here and it's totally different seeing them in the wild as well. So this has just been an amazing thing. I am getting kind of hungry though, so I'm looking forward to getting some food soon. About to hop onto the cable car and go down and get ourselves some lunch. We also found out that the Zealandia tickets are available to use for two days so you can go back again which is pretty awesome. But yeah we're gonna hop on now and apparently they sell masks on board so we'll get it from there. Our Airbnb is located right at the top of where you catch the cable cars down into the city which is also conveniently where all the good food is. If you do want to catch the ride yourself it's a $9 return ticket per adult. Now let's go eat.
Wellington City is always such a vibe. In fact, it's super busy. I feel like it's even busier than Auckland City. We're here at the start of May. It's a Saturday as well. It's a little bit chilly. Actually, it's quite a lot chilly. <laughs> we made our way over to Cuba Street already. This is where a lot of the good food is. So you just took a short stroll through the city center. Yeah, there's tons of different stores here as well. So it's a really interesting place to walk down. Yeah, we're looking for a place called Pizza Prom Promodora? Promodora, yeah, or something like that. It uh, looks pretty highly rated, so we can't wait to get some food. And cheese. <laughs> managed to find the pizza spot that was tucked away in like this little alleyway and uh, it's a small store but got a wood fire oven and the smell coming from the store was amazing yes we got our pizzas already and we lifted up the lids just to take a couple of sneak peeks and look at this <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing it does we were expecting to have well, I was hoping to have a half pizza, but Peter insists that he can have Get a whole one. pizza, then I can have one and a half pizzas maybe. <laughs> so I've got the buffalo mozzarella pizza here, and oh, let me just grab one of these slices. Straight away, I can feel that the crust has a very beautiful, like soft, spongy texture to it, and it's nicely charred just on the outside. Now for the bite test. Mm. Oh, how <laughs> beautiful. The tomato is so nice and tangy. And then the buffalo mozzarella, beautiful creaminess and that crust. Oh, it making is me hungry. so good. <laughs> Just the right amount of chew to it, but then you got that little bit of crispy burntness. That's delicious. So we also got the margarita pizza. And for this one, I'm gonna go chili flake it up. Ooh. A generous lashing of chili flakes. Put it on your half, please. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita's usually Peter's favorite pizza. Mm. Forever be my favorite. And it's so good with the chili flakes. Cheesy, tomatoey, and now spicy goodness. <laughs> Massive one of these. Peter insists I need to try it with those chili flakes. So I will. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's really, really thin. Yeah. Nice. Oh my goodness. That is a really delicious pizza. What do you reckon with the chili flakes? It's good because it's not actually that spicy, <laughs> but just that tiny little bit of um, kick to it. So it's good. Really yum. I don't know what happened to me, like when did I start being able to eat one and a half pizzas? I'm not sure, usually one was my max limit, but like I felt like that was so good. I could have easily eaten another whole pizza. Try That's this crazy. place out, it's delicious. <laughs> we are gonna make our way towards the wind turbine for some spectacular views apparently. Yeah, but before that we need to head back to our Airbnb. We'll give you guys a quick tour there. Oh uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, let's head on out. <laughs> We've made it back to our Airbnb before we head over to the wind turbines. I just need to wear a bit more clothes because I'm really cold. <laughs> so let's go give you that tour first as well. And we're at home. <laughs> this is Brendan's Airbnb. And it's perfect for just the two of us for two nights that we're staying here. It's really modern, very spacious, very clean, and also very comfortable. It's got everything that we really like, which is a table so that we can do our work, electric under blanket so that I get to be all toasty at That's night. <laughs> hey, you like to like sneak in. <laughs> Some <laughs> heat from time place. to time, yeah. Yeah, a little mini fridge, a microwave here. And the cool thing about this place is the architecture. It's just quite unique, eh? I mean, look at all this interestingness. <laughs> and down that way is the bathroom. We've got the shower here, very spacious, and the toilet's just tucked behind over there. <laughs> Yeah, there's also another extra heater in case we get cold, but there's a wall panel one as well, which kept us all warm last night too. This place was $161 for a night, but we're here for the two nights. We're heading back to Auckland tomorrow. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna chuck some other layers on underneath and then I think we can go head out to that wind turbine. Okay, that feels so much better. I now have three more layers underneath and this guy, for as much as he always hassles me about running cold, he has double t-shirt up and changed into longer shorts. <laughs> I can't believe you outed me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was gonna be super freezing, so I'm just taking necessary precautions, okay? I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Here's Yen and I thinking that we were gonna get an easy drive up to see the wind turbine and all the great views. Yeah, unfortunately the gate was closed when we arrived, so we're having to do the walk. But maybe that's a good thing because it'll warm us up. Yeah, Yen and I love walking up hills anyway. <laughs> managed to find a really beautiful spot however I don't think this is the wind turbine. No, this is the Brooklyn army bunkers apparently because the wind turbine's up there so hopefully we might be able to still drive to get up there otherwise it might be a tomorrow thing we'll see how we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it. Okay so it all makes sense now this is how we ended up on the pedestrian route. <laughs> We were on our way on some like two hour or crazy long ass walk over to the uh, wind turbine which we were not keen for at no. this time of night. So we stopped at the bunkers but right at the first intersection fork part, um, this would have been the way to drive up to the yeah. wind turbine. We will come back here tomorrow morning and finish this vlog off. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Determined 100%. <laughs> Alright now we're just going to head back to our Airbnb, chill out and we'll catch you Get some rest, see you tomorrow morning. Success. We have made our way to the wind turbines this morning. The gates were open, we weren't rejected. <laughs> and uh, this wind turbine, not only is it massive, but it also stands atop this cliff, which has had some amazing views back of Wellington coastline. This wind turbine is apparently 67 meters tall, and each of the blades are 20.8 meters long. This was the first commercially viable one here in New Zealand, but New Zealand is pretty big on renewable energy, so you're gonna see a lot of wind farms as you're driving all around. This Brooklyn turbine, aka the Wellington wind turbine, is the second installation. So it's an upgrade from the original one that was installed in 1993. And it's super cool to come here because you do get that incredible view. I am glad though that we did get to see the bunkers yesterday because that was also really worth it getting to see it from a distance as well and seeing those cool like graffiti colors of the walls there. But yeah, this place, amazing. Definitely come check it out if you're in Wellington. I was just talking to some ladies here in the car park and I just found out that not only do you see a bunch of other wind turbines but if you look out in the distance on a clear day you can also see the South Island which is really cool. So incredible. This does bring us to the end of our road trip. We hope you guys have enjoyed following along with us. Yeah it's been an epic trip and I am looking forward to the eight hour drive back oh to gosh. Auckland. <laughs> <laughs> so guys if you did enjoy this please do give us those likes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop us a comment. We love hearing from you. You. and if you can please share our videos that kind of stuff really helps our channel so we super appreciate it until the next adventure see you then see ya